This is Luna, a one-year-old golden retriever. Pat McIntosh has been bringing Luna to this dog park in Canton for the last month. Luna just loves being off leash, jumping with the other dogs, and yeah, there's not all that many places. So we just discovered this place probably about a month ago. She and other dog owners are now on high alert after a series of vandalism that started sometime last Thursday. Last week, on um, sometime on Thursday night, uh, there was... Um, someone came in and there was some vandalism in our parking lot and broke one of our signs down. It wasn't, again, not the end of the world as vandalism goes. But Natalie Travers, president of the Friends of Canton Dog Park, says there was something more troublesome. Sometimes Sunday, chocolate squares were hidden in the wood chips. So it's really frustrating to have someone act out against not just the community, but our dogs. That's the whole reason we're all together. I mean, that's their sort of the center of our lives in some ways. So we're, um, it, it's hard not to be angry about that. Just disbelief. I think, you know, just who could do this to an area that the dogs love to roam and just a great spot and I just can't believe it. The chocolate was found in the small dog area and along the side of the larger park. So initially we had hoped that maybe it was an accident, but the way it was dispersed throughout the park makes us realize that it was really malicious and intent. Chocolate of any kind is very harmful to dogs. Right now, there have been no reports of any dogs getting sick. Police and animal control are increasing patrols to the area. Our hope is that it was sort of a boneheaded prank gone sort of out of hand um, and not as kind of evil as it is really coming across. The park has posted signs along the fence to make owners aware and asking them to report any suspicious activity. There's certain things you don't give a dog and that's like the number one thing. It's pretty messed up like to try to like hurt an animal that's innocent. The Friends of Canton Dog Park are now raising money to beef up security here. And you can donate. So for more information, you can head to our Fox 61 website. In Canton, I'm Rachel Piscatelli, Fox 61 News.